So this wagon, which doesn't even have any sides on it anymore, I also found in the farmer's woods and in, in the bushes. And that's going to be my next project. So I hope you all watch and enjoy the video. I've already taken a couple of the wheels off and sent them off to get new tires on them. But today I'm going to sand down some of this old paint and get that removed so it can be ready and then once I get these wheels back and put back on, I will take the other two wheels and do the same thing and have new tires put on them. So I tried spray painting the wood to make it the color that I want and I just thought that that looked terrible. So I'm going with a different option and I actually bought a primer and then a paint and it's a solid stain and it's oil based so it's going on very thick the white that you can see is the primer um, they actually tinted it a little bit with the gray for me a little black in it um, so it'll take up the color the red color that i'm going to put on as the primary color better and i'm really liking how this is covering it's covering up any of the old red that was still on it very nicely much better than the spray paint so i would not recommend spray paint for the wood it might be fine on the metal part um, that I'm going to do next underneath um, on all the metal, but I do not like the spray paint for the wood. So. red paint it's going on great over this primer and it's gonna look great especially when the Sun hits it it's gonna be beautiful so a nice John Deere red I guess or a tractor red is what it was called so I'll show you the finished project here in just a little bit <laughs> grind down these wheels I think they're saveable so the rust hasn't gone all the way through them so I'm going to grind off the rust and repaint them and just put new tires on them so we'll see how that goes This is what the tire looks like after it has a new tire and has been painted. The only thing I would recommend is that I put a primer on first and I would not do that. It was a bit runny. I would go straight to the paint and primer combination. It was a little thicker and you're not going to get as splotchy um, a finish. So don't go with the primer first. <music> on now now I need to trim down these black pipes and then trim down these bolts that are sticking out on the inside a little bit so that'll be the next step and then I'll paint the sides red to match the
bottom here. the red boards I'm also going to grind the axle down and get the rust off it so I can paint it so I'll show you how we do that gets grinded down it gets painted black and then this is the result looks much better than before <laughs> 